Hey guys, let's talk about some interesting data on differentiating fructose from fruit to high fructose corn syrup, which by the way is made from corn, not fruit, okay? Now, when you consume fruit, you get fructose, you also get the fiber, and you get all the nutrients and the phytonutrients, the minerals, the vitamins, all that. So this is a completely different experience. So regular fructose from fruit is not even close to the same fructose as high fructose corn syrup, which is made artificially from GMO corn. So you got the glyphosate in there, which is an herbicide. Here's some facts. Fructose is metabolized differently than other types of sugar. It does not influence insulin directly. It doesn't go into all the cells. It's shunted to the liver, okay? So the liver eats it up immediately and converts it into fat. Fat on the liver, fat around the liver, fat around your gut, it's called visceral fat, and of course the fat in your arteries. Fructose also has a capacity to increase the growth of pancreatic cancer. Cancer cells can eat fructose, okay? But not normal cells. And this is very interesting, fructose does not supply any energy to the brain and muscles. So number five, fructose does not satisfy hunger. That's why some people can eat large amounts in the supersized drinks and the sodas. It's, it's amazing. Okay, number six, table sugar is 50% glucose and 50% fructose. Agave nectar is like 97% fructose. So check this out. In the year 2009, an average American consumed 35.7 pounds of high fructose corn syrup every single year. I can't imagine what it is right now. So it's in a lot of foods, it's in juice, it's in soda, it's in a lot of processed foods. So out of all the changes that you can make to improve your health, avoiding this would be on the top of the list. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, listen, I wanna thank you so much for your wonderful comments. And I wanna ask you if you wouldn't mind giving me your review on Google. I put a link down below. I'd really appreciate it. And thank you in advance.